Okay, let's connect and talk about luck. Some of us don't have it. And some win the lottery without even trying. Brian Donahue is a math major from the University of Virginia, and now he's a million dollars richer. The lucky student woke up on Christmas morning to a lottery ticket in his stocking, only to find it was a winner. Donahue turned in the ticket for the grand prize of a million bucks after taxes. He plans to use some of his winnings to help pay for his college tuition, but I think he might have some left over. I know, that is a good gift right there. A oh million my, dollars? A million bucks for a college student? <laughs> I know, I wonder if the person who slipped that into his stocking, if Santa would like that ticket back. He's like, hey, I'm, wait a minute, I'm the one that bought that. I was just giving you a $1 scratch off. What's the deal here? <laughs> I was just planning to, to give you $1 of the winnings. Yeah, it was like a I Christmas of hope. Take the rest. Since he's a oh. math major, do you think he's gonna just spend it on calculators or something like that? <laughs> yeah, like the remaining? Cool. You know, I have no idea, but yeah. <laughs> Who knows, but that's one lucky college student. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's talk about what the internet is talking about. Um, this Canadian politician is getting roasted on Twitter. He tweeted this picture. It says, even after a 12 hour shift at the hospital last night, my wife still has the energy to shovel the driveway. God bless her and all of our frontliners. Time to make her some breakfast. Now, the internet is going a little bit crazy over this. I'm gonna show you some of the tweets. This person wrote, this might be rage shoveling, signed a woman. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> <I know. laughs> which made me laugh. This one yeah. says, I don't know what's worse, her having to do this with you inside, her doing this after a 12 hour shift, her, her doing this while you watch, her doing this while you cook eggs over easy. I think you taking a pic and posting it is the worst, that takes the cake. So a lot of angry folks on the internet right now. But you know, we don't know the circumstances. We don't no, know the circumstances. Don't. Maybe he couldn't shovel, maybe she likes. Give the guy the benefit of the doubt. Can we yeah. see her again? Because yeah. I want to see if she was rage shoveling. Yeah. <laughs> you know, uh, yeah. She's putting her back into it, tell. but. When you she know, gets home after her 12 hour shift and her husband hasn't done the shoveling yet, that's, that's, that's probably, rage shoveling. Damn. That shovel's gonna be if used that's as a what weapon. She's doing. I think you're onto something. But maybe he's got a broken leg, you know? He's yeah. in a cast upstairs. Just not showing it, so we don't yeah, know. We don't know. Don't pass judgment. <laughs> you're right, April. Let's take a look at today's totally random poll. Uh, we're gonna take an updated look at our results. We wanted to know, is your significant other under a different name in your phone? 40% of Utah say yes, 60% say no. A couple good responses. Linda, I like hers. She says, uh, yes, my husband is listed in my contacts as ICE Darlin, ICE standing for in case of emergency. Oh. So it's got the pet name Darlin in there, mm -hmm. yeah. but also uh, for safety purposes. Ruth says, my dog doesn't have a phone. <laughs> <laughs> so, sorry, the dog uh, wow. can't be anywhere. So kind of fun to see all the different names that people, or we haven't seen a bunch of different names, but to see that people we've do seen a few. Yeah. yeah, especially in Dan's is my favorite. Right. Yeah. If, yeah, I was about to say big if, boy, but it was bad boy. Yeah, <laughs> boy. you know it. <laughs> no, it's a total joke. Uh, yeah, it's a joke, everyone. Yeah. You missed it. I'm such a bad We boy. love it. We 